Welcome, my Scorpios, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie, of course. I am Debbie, and this is a reading for November 10th to the 16th. Now, I've done an overview, something about a new start. The cards were amazing. Please take a look at it. Interesting as always. Now, remember, these are general readings. May or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest, okay? Trust your angels, my Scorpios. Trust your instincts. Your angels are trying to talk to you. Trust those messages that you have been getting. Now, we do have a full moon coming on the 15th. It will be in Taurus. Your dreams need a practical plan. My uh, Scorpios, there's many things that have been hidden. Uh, and, you know, you do, you do not like secrets. However, your secrets are such, you don't want people to know your secrets but you don't like secrets being kept from you or, or held back from you. Well, secrets will out. Secrets will out, my Scorpio. So let's see what we've got. A lot of karmic energy going on, especially with this week. Let's see how we go. First card, this one popped, and actually it was reversed, but I, I put it straight. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see what we have. Okay, this one, like I said, was reversed, and this one is reversed, so we have two cards. Now, this one pops, so it has a little stronger energy also, so let's see what the first card is. Ten of Earth. This is a lovely card. If you're looking for a job, the job's going to, uh, you're going to hear from somebody. If you're looking for that new home, if you're looking, it's like things are turning around. Things are changing for you. Now, they are not going back. Do not look back. Do not look in the rear view mirror. You keep your eyes forward. So we have a 10, 10, 1, 0, new beginning, God source energy, 10, transition. Earth energy is Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Now Capricorn and Taurus are making the news right now. They're the ones that are having a lot of influence. Pluto and Capricorn, Uranus and Taurus, Taurus full moon. Lots of Earth energy around you. Like I said, keep your eyes looking forward. Do not look back. Back is gone. Back, back is past. Carry the lessons forward, but there is a there is new energy, new diff changes, new job offer, new house. I do. I'm, I know Scorpio. You're the one I'm always feeling is moving, moving, moving. It's like you just can't stand still. A very happy family life, financial security, finding magic in the little things in life. I like that. Next card, the nine of earth. So now you have that nine. Nine is a completion energy. Things are wrapping up. Earth energy, again, Capricorn, Taurus, Taurus and Virgo. Money, job, career. Trust your angels. You know, keep things, you know, keep your integrity high. Trust your angels. Again, someone out there, I feel like, yes, the job is coming. It's going to be a really good job. It's going to be something that you've been really, really liking. Now, it could be that you're having the interview this week. Um, again, you know, um, Mercury retrograde is always a weird time to start your job, but we're not quite in Mercury retrograde. We're just in the shadow. But anytime I have started a job in Mercury retrograde, even if it didn't last long, it was a blessing to me. So be blessed. Lots of blessings with this energy. Enjoying life's little luxuries, spending quiet time alone, successful self-employment. Your next card reversed. Four of air. Four of air. Rest. Meditate. Four, stability, organization, and leadership. Air is our Aquarius, our Gemini, and our Libra. So Aquarius and Gemini, they're the ones that have a lot of stuff going on. Um, what is it? Um, <laughs> Jupiter is in Gemini. Um, if this is thought processes, thinking things through, making some plans, hearing some news. If you have been, again, I'm going to liken it like getting a job. If you have been doing your paperwork, if you have been putting the energies out there, if you have been doing your footwork, rest. The news is coming. You will get news. You are going to get news, my Scorpios. But this card will tell you. Take it easy a little bit. Time to rest or take a vacation. I really get the vacation more so for you because once uh, you come back, it's going to get busy. Allow more time before making a decision. Meditation may provide answers. So the more time um, before you make a decision, I'm kind of getting, you might get more than one offer. 
Um, or again, I, you know, and again, I'm not a financial advisor, but I just feel like an opportunity. And that could be, I give you an example, it could be a job, a career, it could be a school. Um, it could also be a home. All right. So I feel like this is a good time for you to reap some rewards. All right. Now let's see what we've got going on here, Scorpio. Okay. Let's see. Ah, so now we have a seven. Seven is that divine umbrella, God watching over you. You may still get a little wet, but you're still having some, um, you're having some protection during this time. This is water energy, your energy, cancer energy, Pisces energy. So a lot of things are happening. Now the seven of cups, seven of water is about choices. And this card tells you what all these choices that are coming meditate over it pray over it don't look at the one and just say because i've done this oh this checks all my boxes this is the one i want pray on it listen to your angels and choose wisely okay so now because this is a full moon and people have asked me for the crystal cards let's do this remember your dreams need a practical plan choose wisely there is lots of opportunity around you a lots of again Keep your eyes going forward. The past is done. The past is over. It's time. Stop clinging to the past. Time to move forward. You're, listen to your angels. Choose wisely. Okay, let's see what we've got here for Scorpios. Scorpios, Scorpios, Scorpios. What do we have for our Scorpios? Reversed again. Smoky Quartz. Ooh, are your emotions blocked? Our emotions preventing you from moving forward. That's really, yes, like I said, you got eyes forward. Embrace your feelings, both positive and negative. Release anger and resentment. Watch your emotions transform into feelings that, watch your emotions transform into feelings that free you to live and love fully. A lot of that has to do with forgiveness. And your mantra, angel of transformation. I am free of emotional baggage, like a butterfly that has emerged from a chrysalis. I now enjoy a state of emotional balance. I fully appreciate this transformation and continue to allow my feelings to make themselves known to me. A lot of times with transformation, there is an ending and then there is a beginning. Let's see, can we get that a little bit more focused? There you go. So, my Scorpios, a big time. This is a big energy for you. Um, get, your, get your resumes out there if that's what you're doing. Um, go take a look at your houses if that's what you're doing. Uh, there's a lot of movement happening. Keep your eyes forward. Don't look back. Stop looking back. The past is gone. It's time to move forward. And remember what it, they said. It's time to listen to well, what I said. Listen to your angels and choose wisely. Now, my Scorpios, do me a favor. Go down here, if my finger's still there, like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. You help me bring my videos out. Thank you very much. And remember, you are, <laughs> you are always loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.